Hi all, welcome back for another video in investing. I wanted to create a video and explain the dangers of uh, investing in uh, leveraged ETFs. And so we're talking about, uh, let's say, three uh, the ETFs that are going with multiples like 3x or 2x. It is extremely important not to hold such uh, types of uh, investments in your portfolio. These are, these are generally meant, actually they are only meant for traders that tend to trade uh, you know, stocks and ETFs and uh, hold them for a day or two and uh, then get rid of them. But if you are a long-term investor and you are actually aiming to hold uh, stocks and uh, financial uh, instruments, you, you really, really should stay, stay away from these uh, uh, specific investments, if they can even call investments, because they can really drop your uh, capital to almost zero even in some situations. And let me explain. Let's take a look at the, the very well-known Nugget ETF, which uh, attempts to track uh, gold miners. And um, let's look at the, the, what has been happening with the ETF, uh, ETF's chart over the years. And uh, you know, the charts never lie, really. So this is a three times leveraged ETF, which means that uh, on a day where uh, gold miners gain, uh, let's say, 3%, uh, Nugget will actually gain 9%. So it's going to be leveraged by 3%. And uh, the same with losses. So if uh, the miners lose, the gold miners lose three percent, <throat> Nugget would actually lose nine percent. So why is that important? Let's let's take a look at it. So Nugget actually started in December 10, uh, 2010, based on the current data, at least that I'm seeing here, uh, and it was um, valued at fifteen thousand uh, dollars. And um, I'm pretty sure there have been, uh, you know. Um, uh, splits, uh, you know, in the in the meantime, and I remember some of them actually, but they were actually on the uh, on the wrong side, really, on the side that hurts investors. But that's not the point here. The point is that uh, an ETF that started at fifteen thousand uh, dollars, uh, actually yesterday or a few days back, was trading. Uh, yeah, yesterday it was actually trading at thirty five dollars, and um, it has it has it has actually been split multiple times also, so. If you actually were unlucky enough or un unknowledgeable enough to invest money over over that period of time, you will effectively have nothing. Uh, you would have lost all your capital. So you'd think that uh, uh, if that's the case with uh, with uh, Nugget, which actually uh, tracks uh, gold miners in a positive, in a bullish manner, so gold the gold doing doing well, that means <clears throat> there's also an inverse ETF, which is called Dust. And um, this actually aims to track uh, the opposite side. This is the, um, the bearish side of gold. So gold doing bad, gold not doing well. So you'd think that this, this ETF would be doing better, right? Since gold is not uh, doing so well uh, over the years, as you saw in Nugget previously. But uh, again, something that started in $1,000, in $1, it's, it's currently, currently t trading at $20. So the bear uh, three times leveraged shares are also failing. So when, whichever you pick, pick your poison. I mean, <clears throat> even if you pick Nugget or if you pick um, the Dust, you, that's a, it's a loser game. You're going to lose money whichever you pick. If you actually hold these investments, you are, you are going to lose money whether you like it or not eventually if you hold them for, for, for a few years or even, or even a couple of years in some situations. Yeah, you may be super lucky and you, you get uh, a trend uh, happening. As uh, if you bought, uh, let's say, um, nugget uh, dust here and rode it all, all the way to here and then sold, but uh, that's very, very unlikely. And uh, we are not really traders. We don't aim to trade stuff, but we're we're aiming to invest stuff, at least for the for this specific um, video here. Uh, I'm gonna have uh, probably some separate trading videos, but that's a completely different subject. So let's take a look at what's going on here and why this thing happens. So. If we started with an investment of $100, let's say in Nugget, let's say that was the, you know, the, the, the ETF that tracks uh, bullish uh, gold, and we let's say we gained 50%, right, in 10 days. So the new price of the stock would now be 150. But uh, starting from 150, let's say that in the next 10 days, we actually lose 40%, not 50, 40%. The new price of the stock would now be $90. So we gained 50 we lost 40 and we're still losing money. So we actually lost 10% of our initial $100 investment. And this 
comes down to the fact that's actually called decay. Um, the you know the the thing that happens that actually the procedure that's called decay. And uh, this has to do with the fact that and I'm, I'm going here that ten dollars going to five is actually a fifty percent loss. But in order to go from five to ten again, you require a hundred percent gain. So let let that sit for a while. Uh, how 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 big is that? I mean, if we are starting with uh, a high value or even a moderately high value and we actually drop fast, it's really, really tough to even go to the same amount that we invested in the very beginning. So for a 50% loss, we need to have a 100% gain. And uh, 50, you, you may think that a 50% loss is a lot, but it happens way too often with uh, leveraged instruments like Nugget or uh, uh, Dust. And that's because a 10% loss on the actual gold miners is actually a 30% loss for, for the ETFs and the, the, the leverage, the three times leverage ETFs. So you see now why it's important not to hold them. It's super, super risky. It's a loser's game. Don't do it. If you really want to hold or actually buy, I would say, Nugget and uh, a Dust, you should be doing it for like a day or actually for a day trade even. Not even uh, trying to, uh, you know, to hold them for a day. I wouldn't recommend. So if you really, if you are really on top of your platform and you're actually you're actually trading, maybe yeah, if you really know what you're doing. But uh, for for most people, for like 99.9 even percent of people, just just stay away. I mean, uh, don't go with leveraged ETFs, whether they are two, whether they are three. Just go with simple instruments. If you really want to get uh, gold, which I don't really recommend, or gold miners. Uh, just just get GLD for example. Just get the you know the plain one uh, that tracks gold. But uh, stay away from leverage instruments. Uh, they will make you lose money over the, over the long term. That's it. That's what I wanted to uh, to describe in this video. And uh, hopefully that helped you a little bit. Please remember to like and subscribe as always. And I'll see you soon with another video. Bye.